savings is the crutch, is the doorway to building financial independence. And so you save to invest. You don't just save, you save so that you build it up and you mobilize. Then at a certain level, you take a lump sum, then you push it into investment. So that anytime you need money for emergencies, you get into your savings account. But then you don't stay at savings. So if you are starting, you've never invested before, begin to create some mobilization into savings. 20 cities, 30 cities, build it up to say 100. When it hits 100, take 80, particularly when you don't need the 80 now. Put it into an investment that is maybe in three months time so that that money begins to work for you. Keep mobilizing again in the savings. Then when it hits another value, you take it and top it up in the investment. So you can combine the best of both. Even at a certain time, you can build a savings account just for your regular expenses. And then you build an emergency account that can absorb and give you returns within short intervals, a year or less. And then you build a medium term account for projects that require you to touch or some good money, use some good money in two years, three years. And then you build something for big ticket items for your future beyond five years into a long-term um, investment account. So don't, scra- don't, 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 don't strike out um, savings. Savings is the crutch, is the doorway into your financial discipline.